In this lesson, we will learn what Scrapey shell is and how can we make use of the same. Now, when we are discussing about the CSS selectors and XPath, we had to run the spider again and again to get the result. That is, let's say if I select this and then run the spider, we'll get the value. Now, if I change this selector, then I have to run the spider again to get the value, which is of course fine. But when we are testing things, it becomes a bit of a pain. That's why there is scrapey shell where we can interact with the response. That is, we get the response once and after that we can query it how many times we want. So first of all, make sure you're in the terminal like this. And from the terminal, we need to use the scrapey shell command like this. And to the shell, we'll provide the URL we want to send a request to. That is here, after a space, we will provide the URL that is https colon slash slash books dot to scrape dot com. And then if I hit enter, you can see we get a lot of output. And if I scroll up, that is here, you will see we have just the same message when we get or when we run a spider, that is the scrapey version, the packages version, the settings, the middlewares, etc. So this is just the information when we run a spider. And then we get a prompt like this, where we can type in anything, which is our code. So here we can type code or write code line by line, and it will be executed at the same time. That is, let's say if I want to see what is the response, so I can just use print the response like this. You can see we get the response printed. So what happens here is that whatever we write here, its return value is printed right beside it. That is, if we print the response, we get its print value just beneath it. And if I just use a variable that is our response, the same thing happens. So we don't need to use the print function explicitly. Now here you can see that I just wrote the code and we have its output value just beneath it, which is pretty awesome. Now let's say what I want to do is query our response. So we'll use the response CSS method and to the CSS method, we can provide the selector, which is H3, a tag. And now what I can do is just go ahead, get that value. You can see we get that value printed on the terminal just beneath the code. That is, this is the code and this is the output. So this is the benefit of using a shell. That is now I can go ahead and run another query that is CSS. And let's say what I want to do is get the text. That is a colon colon text get that value, you can see we get it again. Now, let's say if I want to use the same code, so I can just use my upper arrow key, you can see we get that code right here. So now let's I will switch the text to attribute instead, and the attribute will be title, hit enter, you can see we get that back. So using the shell, we can query our response how many times we want interactively like this. That's the power of Scrapey Shell. We can query our response how many times we want and get the data live like this. We'll use this feature a lot in the future lessons. That's why I had to introduce it here. So that's how we can use the Scrapey Shell to interact with our response.